Hey everybody, it's Nova, and in today's video, I just wanted to do something a bit different. We're going to be rat running on Island. It was honestly a very crazy raid. It was a lot of weird parts going on and kind of a lot of jank with some of the in-game glitches. But honestly, I didn't expect it to end this way. So if you guys are new to- Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Uh, damn. Uh, Data XX is so fucking far. Um... We spawned by military base though. It's right over there. First things first, we need to get a gun because I know somebody spawned over there and somebody spawned over there, so they might be rushing. We'll go into this hut and grab a gun because that's probably the honest best thing to do. Uh, hopefully, this is a. Yep. Already hit shots about the fence gate over there, so somebody definitely spawned in over there. Well, this might be a fresh wipe. Can't even tap my watch. Okay. This might be a fresh wipe. Maybe not a fresh wipe, a fresh join. Oh, let's go. Galil. Let's go, it's loaded too. Uh, ooh, grenade as well. I can't really take the grenade. Actually, I can, but... Um... Yep, fully loaded mag, let's go. Use this grenade to our advantage. So. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, grenade throwing needs to definitely be fixed. You guys saw that black thing fall? I don't know what that is. He might be rat running too. But who knows? Dead. Damn it! We didn't go. Die, my guy. All right. I don't think that guy had anything. His body just disappeared. I just made a lot of noise. So, if anybody is around, they are most definitely gonna go ahead and try to capitalize on killing me or finding me. All right. So, uh, shoe bar. Shoe bar. Um. Oh, I gotta unlock it first. This way, this way, then that way. Yeah, alright. I don't play much of I. Okay. I don't play much of Island. So, I play a little bit to know the whole layout of the map. I just can't wait for the expansion. Let me know down in the comments, uh, um, for the people who are watching this, like, how you think the expansion's gonna go. Personally, I. Whoa. I was saying, as it got rudely interrupted, personally, I think the expansion is going to go well for Island. But I don't know what they're going to do. If they're going to add streets first, or if they're going to just full on go with Island. Alrighty. I made too much noise coming in. Let's go what you have. Got my same plate carrier. You were loaded too. And your bolt was back, bud. I do hear gunshots. Alright, nobody else can spawn and raid. Um, I already gave this tip in one of my videos, but basically if you don't know, nobody else can spawn and raid unless they have... I mean, um, if that timer's down, that means nobody in the raid. I mean, no players can spawn in the raid anymore. 
the, if that time is green and showing you a time to get out or a time that you need to extract by, it means nobody else can spawn in a raid. One dead. One ran behind the rock. I got hit. I don't know what the f hit by. <clears throat> it was kind of dumb for them to just both be standing out there in the open like that. Let's go. Well. Yep, it's three. Don't want this. Ooh. A few moments later. Is this risky what I'm doing? Yes. I usually never go on the side of these buildings. That's the one thing, I never go on the side of these buildings. But um, I'm just going to give you guys a little tip. If you guys see a player and he goes inside of a bush, it's really hard to see him again. So here's just a tip. Don't stand in, in the open it's really dumb and also take advantage of bushes more because if you guys take advantage of the bushes more it, it will literally dude it is so effective from hiding from scavs from hiding from players it's just like 10 times more effective than rather than just standing out in the open trying to get a peek a few inches later what's the time you know 31 minutes all right so I'm gonna go check out Boathouse, then... Oh. Oh. Whoa. Shadow by Scav. Okay, I don't know if he sees me now. Gonna push right here and just wait. If he doesn't see me then, well, that's an easy capitalization. The easy ass kill. Joking. That's definitely Scarf. He's looking directly at me. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna back up here, kill the Scav, and go by road. And just dip out. Because honestly, I'm in a pinch. And I don't feel like having this player push up on me, possibly kill me. Then I'm dead. Reason why is because number one, I'm out of NRSs. Number two, he did hit a couple good shots on me. I'm guessing he has an AK. Shit, that's another player joking. But I'm out of NRSs. He did have. I don't know if that was a scout or a play. He did have. Um, he did hit a couple good shots on me, so I'm half HP right now. So best bet, honestly, right now, let me check the mag. Best bet, honestly, right now, just dip. 
because there's no point of trying to take this fight, trying to see who's the better player, da 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 I never know if, you know, who knows, maybe he healed up, you know? Like, who knows, maybe he has a bunch of NRSs. Who knows, maybe I'll miss a fuck ton of my shots, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's so many damn variables that could happen that's kind of just like, I don't even want to take this fight. This fight is not worth my time. It's not worth my energy. It's not worth my life. Day two. There's only like so certain fights I will take. So, hold on. I'm gonna have a bunch of shots over here. What's this? I don't know if that was a player. Scav. What? What I do know is that I have that track. That's a player. player. In the bush. So he's not paying attention to us. We can just hop in the bush. Then if he comes this way, depending on where he goes. But I, I just don't want to rush up and be out in the open. It'll be a dumbass fight because there's so much fucking open room. We could go behind that van. But then again, I am on like half HP. So all he takes is like really two shots and I'm dead. So I would have to get the element of surprise on him. I would have to get the first shot off. I have to. Alright. Uh. Just wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit. Just gonna wait a little bit. Sometimes patience is a good thing, you know? Sometimes patience is a good thing. Alright. Nobody behind. Get that scav. Move. And I'm always looking in the direction the way that player could be or, or was. Probably has the same extract as me. So, two things that could come out of this, right? One, yeah, 25 minutes left. One is that he has the same extract, he goes to extract, I go to extract, and we get into a fucking death to the duel. Two, I get the element of surprise on him, but I don't know where he at. I don't, I don't know where he is. Now three, I know that extract over there is closed down. There's no extract over there. I think the only extract is over here. So it's it's really like a 50-50 chance on whether or not what I want to do in this situation. So I saw him. Now most people would have taken a shot. The reason I didn't take a shot is because I was too far to capitalize on making my shots fully accurate to actually kill him or not. Now, I don't know if he went up all the way to Lighthouse. I don't know if he went to the boat. I don't know where he went. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in this house. I'm going to loot. Try to find an NRS. That is like the most thing. Because if, because I'm not, because, okay. Say for example, say for example, right? We both go to extract. We're gonna have to fight it out. I already know I'm half HP. So why would I even try to fight that? Why would I even try to I'ma just let him go. Like or he's probably gonna fucking push me. Then boom, I'm dead. So it's like why would I try to fight something knowing I can't win? Do you have a better chest reading here? Oh, my bag just fucking glitched out, what the hell? Um, Alright, yeah, as I said, they gotta fix a bunch of glitches before this game gets, like, full release. That's just my personal opinion. It's because it's glitches like that, that make me kind of, like, a tad bit upset. Alright, but yeah, why would I try to fight... But yeah, why would I try to fight... Someone, let's grab this. Um, knowing I'm on half HP. 
Now, if I can get the drop on him, that's a difference. Fuck, you disconnected, my friend. GG's. GG's, homeboy. Damn, disconnected. But, um... Why would I try to get a drop on him? Knowing that I'm half HP. That's the only way that I could actually win that fight. Other than that, I wouldn't be able to. And that scared me. That scared the shit out of me. That's also another thing. So he already looted this place. So most likely his NRS is in his bag. Alright, let's head out. That would be the only possible way that I could actually win that fight. Let's do myself a favor though. Like a huge favor. Look around. Scope out the area. Because here's the thing about this spot. Usually scav spawn here. So usually Yeah, this place has been looted. Alrighty, so what it seems like is that this player's looted it. Because that crate is open. There's no scabs here. All of these are open. Yep, all of these are open. There's a bag still down there. Alright, so honestly, at this point, it's best to just head out. Because there's no point to try to stay here and try to wait scavenge the loot or do whatever um you guys do because oh f me well f like that also happens wow so it seems like that one player from the tent he apparently was probably waiting or probably looted but ggs though i got four ghost kills ggs though so hope you guys enjoyed the video also if you want longer content just let me know down in the comments also go watch my video on how to get better in ghost of tabor and what i've learned after playing over 2,000 hours in ghost of tabor also if you're not liking that video go ahead and check out avoiding these pvp mistakes in tabor this basically goes over all the deaths that i've had in ghost of tabor and basically how i can capitalize on them next time and improve in the future also if you guys just generally like the video and want these type of videos let me know down in the comments below have a nice day or night wherever you are peace